Hey, what's up, guys? CM here, and this is my buddy, Whale. Um, do you want to drop the name of your channel? It's uh, Sabil Combatives, S-A-B-E-E-L, Sabil Combatives, and the website is sabilcombatives.com. It is a um, highly efficient mo uh, modern martial art. All right, so today we're going to do a little review of something that one of my fellow um, students in uh, martial arts here, PTK and other things, brought by for us to mess around with. And this is a Kershaw Emerson trainer. So um, obviously you can thumb flick it with this little thumb disc, but it has a very markedly safe blade. And of course it's dull. So, you know, round tip. I mean, yeah, with a, th with a good thrust, you could probably cause some good bruising or, you know, superficial damage, but you get the idea. Can I say something about it? Right. So this is actually mine and Stephen gave it to me. And um, I like that it's, you know, realistic in every way. You can practice opening it. Um, but I feel the clip is on the wrong side. Like, for me, I my other knives all have the clip up here. Oh, tip So down. that when you draw this way, your thumb comes into place on the thumb stud and you open. So, I don't know. What do you think about that? Yeah, I, I'm surprised that they did it. But the, the reason why they mount it for tip-up only is take advantage of the Emerson Wave opening device where... I usually keep mine, the clip on the lefty side, so to enable a left hand or right hand draw. Oh, to the, I see. Yeah. So it's designed. Mm -hmm. Salma. Sorry. <laughs> so if I'm the using. more interested in the cats. It's designed to open into Pakal. So if I'm using it as it comes out of the box. Yes. I see. Mm -hmm. So I think that's the reason why they forego the tip down uh, carry position. But if you're carrying in the left pocket and you're, doesn't matter if you're left-handed or right-handed, out of the box, you can do a left-handed draw into Picol. Edge out, of course. Okay, so I need to not bother with the thumb stud at all and just rely on the wave opener. Mm -hmm. That's what I do with uh, my my blade. I use this a lot to just practice my, my angles um, and my grip changes, right? So I go one, two three, throw a shot here, one, two, three, uh, come across, change hands, one, two, three, I throw a shot here, I change grips, one, two, three, and I don't have to worry about cutting myself, which is nice. Yeah, that's a definitely an added bonus to having the trainer, but these things are really inexpensive. I think they're like uh, under $50, depending on where you go, eBay, you can probably find them for 30 but this is actually, the, the cool thing about this trainer is that it corresponds to a real, live, sharp, actual Kershaw Emerson model. So if you get proficient in the use of this thing, you can... Oh, there goes a kitty. It's an orange cat. Orange cat. So yeah, if you get proficient in this thing, you can easily you know do all the same things with the live version. So if you're a student getting into uh, Cali or any of the other edged arts, you know, you might want to pick one of these up. Oh. And it's also really cool for doing um, force on force training where you are being attacked and you've got to draw from your pocket and get that blade into action. Um, we don't have the benefit of that with the rubber training knives. I should just add that at some point you do have to train, uh, you have to practice with the live blade because otherwise you may be um, expressing bad habits and not realize it. You might be uh, brushing yourself lightly with the knife and not even notice it. When I started uh, practicing with the live blade, I sliced my pants open on both legs, left and, left and right thigh. And a couple of times, uh, in, while changing grips, I dropped it and it fell into my thigh point down Ooh. with my live blade. But fortunately, it didn't go through my jeans. But at some point, you have to practice with a live blade. Yep, so I think that about wraps it up. Um, anything else? No, that's it. Again, it's Sabil Combatives. Look us up. Thank you very much. And as always, stay armed, stay alert, stay alive. Hua, God bless. Later.